with Seamus Mullen. He's the owner of two award-winning restaurants here in New York City. And a life-altering diagnosis forced him to rethink the way he cooks and focus on healthier meals. And now he's here. He's stronger than ever. Better than ever, the food tastes as good as ever. And he's going to share his secrets to great, healthy dishes. They're a part of his new cookbook, Real Food Heals. So, Shane, thank you for coming in. Thanks for having me. I'm, I'm super excited. I'm glad to be you're here. here. And rheumatoid arthritis. Yeah. You were diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis 10 years ago. 10 years ago, over 10 years ago, I was really, really sick. I was overweight. I didn't feel well. And I knew I had to make a change. So, it forced you to make a change in the way that you eat at home. But you actually changed the way you cooked in your restaurant. Yeah, I mean, for me, obviously changing the way, I was lucky to work with a doctor who helped me mm -hmm. completely recalibrate my diet. But I figured, you know, I have to do more than just do what I'm doing at home. I've got to take this into the restaurant and obviously for anyone else that I'm cooking for. So we made some simple changes. I didn't want to offend any of our customers that were coming in, our regulars. But we made changes like reducing the amount of carbohydrates, reducing the amount of refined sugar in the restaurant, and really trying to recalibrate the uh, the. the the dish so that it's just as many vegetables as, as meat on the dish. And you guys talk about the power of food as, as healing and, and, and as far as like almost medicine in a lot oh, of Oh, absolutely. I mean, not only you are what you eat, but you are what you eat ate. So making sure you're eating really, really good quality ingredients mm -hmm. from the get-go. And that means lots of nutrient-dense vegetables, eating really healthy fats, healthy protein. Well, we're going to show everybody how to do some food swaps yeah. that you helped us with right here. And we have our props. There Here you have the good old bagel. You remember that thing? And cream cheese. <laughs> and and this, this thing, I'm afraid to spin it because it looked like seven-year-old yeah, made it in shop class. But we're going to spin it. So you have your bagel, yep, and this yep. is the swap that you yeah. came up yeah. with. So why not, why not have some salad for breakfast? Uh-huh. You know, so that looks typically good. I, used to, used to, I used to have like a low-fat latte with low-fat cream cheese on a bagel, and I'd start the day with a lot of carbohydrates. Low-fat latte is going to have more sugar than a full-fat mm -hmm. latte. Um, and I'd have the bagel with cream cheese and all of that would give me the, you know, I'd blow up with carbs, and then an hour later I'd be hungry again. I'd be, I'd be tired. So rather than doing that, I go for more vegetables, healthy fats, healthy protein. So having a salad for breakfast or having a, a big meal maybe late morning rather than first thing in the morning. That definitely looks more filling yeah. anyway. It's delicious. Filling and, and really, really Really tasty. And one of the hardest parts of the day is snacks. Yep. We all like snacks. And here we have some potato chips, you yep. know, the crunchy Classic. part of it is part of it. Yep, we got the crunch, and the crunch is something we all react to, so I wanted to replace the crunch yeah. with something that is equally crunchy and naturally anti-inflammatory. So I have lots of vegetables, and this is a hummus that rather, rather than being made with chickpeas, it's made with carrot and turmeric. Turmeric is a, is a root that's got a compound called curcumin, which is a natural anti-inflammatory. So you're getting tons of flavor, really, really good, and helps you bridge from one meal to the next. I've never heard an audience so excited <laughs> about turmeric. <laughs> Whoa, turmeric! <laughs> and a lot of people have to have their pasta. Yep. And what, what do you have to substitute for that? Well, there's some good things going on here. We've got some vegetables, but mm -hmm. all that carbs late at night is going to keep you up. It's going to be anti-inflammatory. It's going to be inflammatory, rather. So here we've got some spaghetti squash. It's the same yeah. texture, roasted spaghetti squash. I've added in a little bit of uh, beef as well. Something you'll notice that there's more vegetables than meat going on here. We've replaced all the carbs with something that has the same texture and is equally filling, but very, very good and nutrient dense. And then on top of this, working out is also a big thing. But Absolutely. You but you do something called no no gym. No January. gym January. So the idea is you don't need to go to the gym to exercise. You just need to move a little bit. You can do lots of body weight exercises at home, whether you're doing some body weight squats, doing mobility work, even doing like some jump squats and lunges will do a lot to get your heart rate up and get you moving. Well, I wish I knew that before the end of January. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Right? <laughs> now we can get back in the gym. We're ready to go. David, I appreciate Thanks, you. Thank Michael. you so Good much, man. This Thanks. is really, really a good great information for everybody. Real Food Heals, it is out now, and you can get these recipes on our website, so make sure you check that out as well. Shame is Mullen, everybody. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here, so go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.